Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, ADW Launcher X on the Kindle Fire HD. So, uh, this is an unrooted Kindle Fire. Uh, I tried a whole ton of different launchers and none of them would install. I got them all right here in downloads. Uh, so, I tried Zeme Launcher, Nova Launcher, Launcher Pro, a bunch of Go launchers, and I tried all these different kinds of launchers and none of them would work. Uh, but then I came across ADW Launcher X. And it, in fact, does work, as you can see right here. Uh, it doesn't require reading the Kindle or anything like that. But there is a problem. ADW Launcher X is a paid app. And it's only available, as far as I can tell, uh, from AndroidPit.com and, obviously, Google Play. So, uh, Google isn't compatible with the Kindle Fire HD unless you root it. So, uh, that obviously makes getting the app very difficult. Uh, I haven't tried Android Pit. I've never heard of them, really. So, I don't know how good they are, but uh, it might work getting it from them. Uh, I just basically wanted to show you the features. Uh, one of the main things with it though is it doesn't work when you hit the home button. So you still go back to the regular Kindle carousel when you hit the home button. But unlike the other launchers, it actually puts an icon on your carousel. So you can use your icon from the carousel to get to um, the alternate home screen launcher or you can, you can also add that icon to your home, uh, to your favorites menu so you can quickly jump to it from here. So obviously, you can, as you can see with the alternate home screen, we've got a lot of different uh, look than it does with the carousel. We've got the app drawer right here. You can scroll through all your apps. Um, you can pretty much customize exactly how you want this thing to look like. Um, you can change the, uh, the different icons down here so you can drag them off your dock. If you want less icons down there, you just drag and hold and drag. So then we just got the icons, the couple icons there. Um, we can also create folders. So these are all the Amazon apps. So uh, even though it's set up different here with this launcher, you still have access to all the Amazon apps. Um, they all seem to launch okay from here. You can launch the photo album. Uh, Kindle Docs, your uh, side-loaded documents. So you can access pretty much everything over here. Oddly, the Audible app is called Throwaway, but uh, it still works to uh, launch up the audiobooks menu. Um, so the one that doesn't work though is the Kindle one. So you just hit the Kindle one and it doesn't do anything. So you still have to use the alternate home screen if you want to get to your Kindle books uh, library. But as far as everything else goes, it seems like everything else is working. You can obviously add your Kindle book, like an individual book, to this if you wanted to jump uh, to your ebooks quickly. So another thing you can do here is you can take like apps and you can group them into a folder. So like if you wanted to put all your Kindle apps in one folder, you could do that and then you have it set up like that. So uh, this app, like I said, it's a paid app. I can't say that I would necessarily recommend buying it though because it doesn't exactly work well, I mean great on the Kindle. It works well, but it doesn't work great on the Kindle Fire. Uh, obviously the Kindle Fire is set up to thwart alternate launchers, so some things don't work right. Like as you see when I switch over to landscape mode, it doesn't center it properly. It needs to be right there. So then once you center it properly, it stays right. Um, but initially when you switch over, uh, as you can see, the Google bar gets uh, cut off a little bit and then it moves those apps over to the side a little more. So there definitely are some issues with it. Um, it's pretty pretty good though. Um, you come in here and you got the different whole bunch of different settings. So we can actually um, go in and change it, how everything looks here. There's a bunch of different um, UI settings. You can change how the icons look. We can do some fancy backgrounds. So that it opens it up to a lot more um, customization. The custom backgrounds kind of overlap on this one. So we would need to do uh, different spacing. Um, you can go in and set different spacing. Uh, but then when we're in portrait mode, you can actually read the files names just fine. So there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with the custom launcher. Um, we can set up different widgets. If you long press on here, we got some different widgets. We can set up a whole bunch of different folders, that kind of thing. So obviously it just adds a lot more customization to the Kindle than something like, you know, Amazon's regular carousel. So we get some different options for like a little YouTube widget. Since I have YouTube side loaded on here. It just depends on what widgets you're going to show up. So I got this cool little um, thing right here. We can quickly adjust the brightness and turn on off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. A quick application settings. So it's just some of the different things you can do with an alternate um, launcher. Uh, I just wish that the free ADW launcher worked. 
Um, I tried that one and obviously it doesn't work. It just seems to be this paid ADW Launcher X that seems to be the only one I've been able to find that actually works on the Kindle Fire HD. Uh, but at least it does give an option here. So one other detail, um, I've noticed we can go in and change the wallpapers, but I can't figure out where this is located, so I can't figure out where to add new wallpapers. But we can change the wallpapers and they do stay um, throughout. Like when you turn it off and turn it back on, it still stays with, it stays with that wallpaper. Whereas the uh, regular Kindle Fire was a little bit tricky, where it would want to reset to Amazon's uh, screensavers. But uh, yeah, they seem to stay on here okay. Um, like I said, it's just a uh, completely different setup. Everything's pretty smooth as far as transitions go. As you notice when I launch some of the Amazon apps, it does take them a little bit longer, it seems like, to launch than if you did it from the Kindle home screen. But uh, for the most part, everything still seems to be working the same. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video review. Check out the ebookreader.com. I'm going to have some additional details on there as usual. Um, thank you for watching.